Okay, so it's your first time going to Burning Man and you're probably wondering, what do I bring to Burning Man? But don't worry, Turkey Crew, we got you. Because in this episode, we're gonna be going through everything you need to bring to Burning Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, coming in yeah. In. Flex, I just wanna win, just yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. There is a lot to bring to Burning Man. It's difficult trying to figure it all out on your own, but you're in luck because we did all the hard work for you. So stay tuned because today we'll be breaking down everything you need to bring to Burning Man. And stay till the end because we will be giving you a free Burning Man packing list. And if you're new here, I'm Athena. And I'm Heather. And we're the two, two traveling, traveling turkeys. turkeys. And today we are going to make this overwhelming process so much easier for you. We're gonna break it down into two main categories. The first one is gonna be survival essentials and the second is gonna be living essentials. So let's jump right into the most important. So the first part of survival essentials is accommodation. So the first option you could go with is this tent, right? Now this was specifically made for Burning Man to keep men insulated, to protect more from the heat because regular tents do not do that at all. Now don't get me wrong, it's not like walking into AC or anything. It's definitely a little cooler than the other options. Now you could also do an RV, which is obviously really great because guess what? You get AC in there, boop boop. Or you can do a plug and play, because that's the third option, um, where you just show up and everything's just set up and ready for you to go. Of course, you know, the price tag. Watch out for that. I just wanna win. I just yeah. wanna win. So those are the three types of accommodation to help you survive burning. Okay, so if you choose to go the camping route, we've listed a ton of items that you're going to need. But I'm gonna go through some of the key items that you'll need. First is a air bed and air pump, because you don't wanna blow that up with your mouth. Next is sleeping bag. Boop boop. Gotta keep warm, right? And to keep extra warm, you're gonna want a nice little cozy blanket. Then, a water backpack. Gotta keep hydrated. Take that around everywhere you go with you. Make sure you keep lit up at night with your little lantern. So those are your key items. Oh, hello. Let me just get you out of there. Alrighty, so the next thing you are going to need a lot of is kitchen wear. Now, how to eat, right? I mean, you don't want to starve out there, definitely. The best thing to cook with is honestly this propane grill. Perfect, but make sure you don't forget extra propane. You don't want to run out out there. Gotta get that little uh, cook on. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, there's nothing in there, but I don't care. I would like to pretend. Pots and pans, trash can, lots of trash bags. No move. That's bad. That's dead. It's dead. And of course you need your trusty old matches or a lighter or some kind of thing to get this started. Very important because sometimes we forget the little things, okay? But also all your utensils to like cook and stir and eat with, plates, reusable cups, because you know, you want to go, when you go around the playa, you want to get those other drinks out there. So make sure you bring reusable ones. Be prepared with all the stuff you need for your little kitchen. Oh, hello. I was just rowing. I'm here to tell you all about all the hardware that you need to survive Burning Man. Here is a whole list right here. Let me just tell you about the key things, okay? First, you're gonna need a bike pump. Obviously, you saw the broom, and that's to sweep up different things so you don't have any moop at the end of your trip. Some tent stakes, little bucket. This is for your toilet, okay? because sometimes it's too far to go to the porta parties, all right? And that's just ridiculous. So, you know, sometimes you gotta just do what you gotta do. Then you're also gonna need a bike lock. Sometimes people steal your bikes. There's so many different bikes and you don't wanna get your stolen, so lock it up. Duct tape, obviously, gotta tie people up. This, to hammer things in, kill people, stuff like that. Also the rope to tie other people up you know, for the orgy tent. A little knife, never know what you have to cut. Okay, so the next section is living essentials. And you know what you need to live? Food and drink. And by drink, I mean alcohol, obviously. So follow me while we go shopping. <laughs> One great thing to bring to Burning Man is fruit. And what's better than some watermelon in the heat? Nothing, okay? 
Literally, it's like gold out there. Just put it in your cooler, chop it up. Okay, so another good thing is to take some instant soup. You could just heat up some hot water and make a little meal out of it. Or you can buy some cheese and some meat and everything like that and make a couple sandwiches. Although fruits are great to eat in the hot desert, there are some on the do not bring list. Apples are a no because of the core and bananas because of the peel. The rotting is gross in the heat. Also, nuts are a fantastic snack and stand up in the high heat. A nice charcuterie platter is a big yes. Can you say delicious? And as far as liquids go, you need your water. That's true, but also plenty of alcohol to keep yourself lit up. Flex coming, uh -huh. coming in, coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just want to win. riding my bike which is the best mode of transportation while you are at Burning Man you cannot get anywhere without one of these suckers Ooh, and you have to light it up takes it to the next level it also helps you find your bike in a sea of other bikes um, but yeah you literally walking around is not an option I mean it is but I'm tired just riding this bike two minutes couldn't even imagine trying to walk the playa Burning Man does have yellow bikes, which they're called yellow bikes, but really they're green. And there's not a lot of them, so they're kind of hard to find, but if you see one, you can pick it up and use it, but you have to lay it down and you can't lock it up, okay? Because it's for anybody to use. So that's your main option. And then the next one is an art car. Now you could just hop on just as a regular, hop on, let it take you where it takes you, and then hop off. Now, do keep in mind, they are a lot of fun, but if you decide that you want to bring one yourself, build an art car, there's a whole registration process. So you gotta look that up and make sure you go through that whole process. You can't just come with that art car and think you're gonna be roaming around in there, it's not gonna happen. And then if you're like Katy Perry and you wanna take the bike to the next level, guess what, you could do a Segway. When it comes to clothing, Burning Man allows you to truly be yourself and dress how you want to. Fun costumes are always a hit and make things super fun. But you also want to be prepared for the weather. So in the heat, a hat, goggles, and a mask are key. But at night, when temperatures really drop, make sure you have those boots, a sweater, and pants so you don't get too cold. There's a lot of toiletries you need to bring to Burning Man. You gotta keep yourself fresh and clean. Alrighty, so first off, gotta brush those toothers with your toothbrush and toothpaste. Get those nice soft lips with a chapstick for kisses, and then you got your hemp soap, you know, keeping it real hip. But if you wanna shake it up a little bit, get that nice body wash, and to go with it, body cream, and some spritz, cause you know it's smelly out there, especially after seven days, so. Keep your face nice and fresh with moisturizer, and of course you don't wanna burn out there, so sunscreen, lots and lots of sunscreen. And for your hair, shampoo, conditioner, and body lotion. Gotta keep all of that together, especially all the time you're there. And vinegar, okay, you do not want that playa foot. No, you don't. No, you don't. All right, Turkey Crew, you are almost ready to go to Burning Man. Now, this is actually the second video in our Burning Man series, so make sure to check out the other videos. Yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, check out our ultimate guide video to ruling Burning Man. <laughs> yeah, and then our next video is actually gonna be a review on this tent, <laughs> because a tent made by a burner specifically for Burning Man, mm -hmm. we need to know about those things. Gotta know. Gotta know if you can survive in it too. Exactly. <laughs> and if you haven't done so already, you can take a look below because we have a full checklist of everything you need to bring to Burning Man. Yes, and it's free, okay? Yes, legit. <laughs> Click that link below. <laughs> All right, Turkey Crew, we hope you love these tips and we hope you check out the rest of our series. If you have any questions about Burning Man, please leave that in the links below. We'd love to help you out. Till next time, Turkey Crew, we, we out. out. <laughs> Okay, and if you're new here, I'm Athena. And I'm Heather. And we're the two, two traveling, traveling turkeys. turkeys. So today, we're gonna... God damn it! This is harder than it looks. <laughs> I can't do it. Let's start over. Mochi, what you doing? You're just standing there like a weirdo, staring at the wall. Mochi!
She doesn't even answer. It's like she's a cat statue. Is this even the right way to do this? <laughs> Go. Oh, hello there. I don't know what. <laughs> 